So, hi, I'm John C. Gilmar and I play Mark Kerr in the film Time Walk. How did you experience the film? Tell me a bit about that. Well, I mean, the, the great thing for me as an actor was that we got a lot of input into it from before the shooting date so that there wasn't a lot of time wasted in rehearsal and you know, who's going to do what. So we had a lot of input into the writing and into the sort of the characters before any shooting started. So that, for an actor, is brilliant because you don't often get that. You quite often, you turn up on set, you don't know what's happening, somebody tells you to stand somewhere, can you say this and can you walk there? Uh, so we had a lot more kind of um, ownership over it than, than a lot of, you would get in the case of, say, a soap or something like that. And I really enjoyed that because I felt as if that we had contributed more to it than just turning up and saying the lines that we'd actually um, contributed to some of the writing, that we contributed to some of the ideas in the film. Um, so the actual shoot itself was very tight, but, but it, meant because, it was because we'd done a lot of the rehearsal and a lot of the work before the shoot. Uh, and that's what made the, the shoot work, I think, in such a sort of tight sort of uh, space of time. Um, and that was great to be able to do that. I mean, you talk about the way that you worked and the kind of the work ethic in the team. I think mm. that's something that's probably true of a lot of creative industries that are here at Go North. Yeah. I wonder if it's something you might be able to mention about that kind of atmosphere and a creative team. And, yeah. Um, you know, how important you think that is, maybe, if, if that's the case. You know? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that you can always guarantee it um, because you don't know when you get any a group of individuals together that it is going to work. But I think one thing that really... Um, work for us is that a lot of the, the casting and crew was, was done not by the director saying I want this person, this person, he'd say do you know someone that you, you really rate that you would do, that you would you recommend? And that's actually how I got the roles because Alton Milne who's uh, the other lead in it, um, David said to him do you know anyone who can who would be good for this part? He said well I do and a lot of the casting and the crew was done in that kind of way and I really liked that because uh, once you got two or three good people you think well actually I trust this person's <coughs> recommendation and so you had a sort of, a sort of tight-knit thing that sort of grew, but it remained tight. It wasn't like lots of strangers turning up one day and you think, well, I don't know who these people are. And I think that that had a lot to do with making the whole thing work, is that it felt like everybody kind of knew each other from the word off, or there was a connection between people from the word off, and it was quite, it was like a village, almost. Um, so I think that was a lot to do with what, what made it work um, for me. In terms of the way the film's shot, I mean, it's mm. quite kind of unflinching in that, you know, even in that very first opening sequence, you see a lot of you. Yeah. A lot, and it, for an extended period of time. Um, Are you complaining? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I, how is, that, is that difficult to deal with? Yeah, well, I mean, the whole, I mean, I'm mainly a theatre actor, so to be honest, when the director, David, would say things about lenses and about how we're shooting it, I kind of just kind of stopped listening for a bit because I really just thought, I'm not really, what do I have to know here as an actor and what is more, might be more of interest to a filmmaker or a director, but I'm, I'm trying to close down a lot of things and just think, what do I need to know as an actor? I need to know how the shot looks, I need to know, you know where the shot is in me, uh, I need to know the script and the story, but a lot of the technical stuff, um, frankly, I don't feel like that's particularly my area of expertise, so I would, I mean, I was aware we were shooting in this new sort of way that was allowing, you know, using a stills camera that was actually able to capture motion and getting really good quality. Um, any more than that, if you ask me about it, I'm going to give you a really blank stare um, because <laughs> that really wasn't my kind of area of expertise. Okay. Um, I suppose I'd, uh, because of the way it's filmed, I kind of assumed it would have been quite intrusive on you. It's quite close in around you. Well, you know, I, I think, but, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I hadn't, I hadn't done a huge amount of um, film, so I guess it's all kind of quite new to me. So I, I didn't have a model of it thinking, oh, this is completely different from what I've done before. Uh, in actual fact, I'm, I'm always interested in um, when you've got. Um, a director of photography who's really interested in getting unusual angles. I'm really up for that. I'm thinking, well, great, because when you see something and you think, that's an interesting angle, or that's unusual, or that's, uh, as long as it's not tricky or gimmicky, I'm always up for that. And you get a sense for, I think, a director of photography when they know what they're doing, when they really are, are thinking about their shots. And you're just trying to think, well, okay, how can I act in that and make the shot work? Because I see what he's trying to do. How can I make that work? I think that's where the team thing comes in, is where you're not just thinking about your job, you're thinking about, how, you know, can I help the sound guy out by not doing this or, and he's thinking the same and the director of photography is thinking the same about the actors and you have a sort of consideration about, you know I'm saying about you think about your job, but you also have some consideration about what other people are doing as well and I, I think that that's what really helps and saves time and um, I think that was really important in the shoot as well. Um, one of our sponsors, uh, Screen High, are kind of committed to developing talent in the Highlands and Islands and one of the things that we'd like to do is kind of give as much advice as possible or hints and tips even to upcoming creatives, whether they're mm. actors or directors. You know, have you got any advice on trying to break into the creative industries? I think um, very much the model is changing, um, especially for actors and I think that if you think you want to be an actor and you want to wait for the phone to ring 
for someone to offer you something or you want to wait for someone to say, could you be involved in this? And uh, nowadays you're going to be waiting a long time. I think now it's got to be, rather than waiting for someone else to get you involved in their project, it's much better if you can make a project, if you can get together with people. And even if the first thing you do doesn't work or is terrible, it's like being in a band, you get better at it and you get better at it. So I would say that for anybody now, that you, you really, um, it's, it's much more fulfilling as well, I think, to do something that is, is, begins with you, or begins with you and the people you work with, rather than trying to get you know, approval and employment from somebody else. So I'd say if you really want to do something that, that counts and that matters, not just from the point of view of making a career, but the, from the point of view of making something that you are proud of and that is part of you, then I think you have to make your own work. And that's, that's for everybody, crew and uh, film, you know, directors, writers, and especially actors, I think.